do you see? It creates a cat butthole. A kitty vortex. Hi, my name is Rebecca Josephson. Uh, I am of First Nations descent and I deal with a lot of chronic illnesses. Um, a lot of them. <laughs> I'm interested in doing the makeover and the photo shoot um, and exploring, kind of reconnecting with myself um, and really who I am and because I've been through a lot over the past year. I mean, it's been an amazing past year in certain ways, but it's also been really grueling in other ways. Um, so I almost feel like a phoenix that burned up and I'm a pile of ashes right now and I kind of really need that spark to reignite. And I do have a tiny little bald spot right here, so if you oh, get freaked oh. out, so yeah, <laughs> not freaked out, but I I might have just freaked so out thinking know. I did it. So yes. I'm glad you pointed it out. Yes. So, oh my God! I burnt your hair out. No, but it's just me. <laughs> what did you get it? Um, I got it in a very bad car accident. Oh, no. Yeah. So it happened Christmas Eve day on top of everything else. Oh, so you need to say the holidays. Yeah. So the holidays are very, very difficult. Um, uh, so, and then on top of it, one of my siblings passed away in that accident. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So it was like on top of it, it was, so I had a brain injury or TBI from it so and in recognizing that these are tools that might be able to help and these are types of therapies that can help and, and you know, sure. these are this is people that you can go to and I'm like oh cool uh, there's still sig stigma even in that field like if you've had any attempts before if you have any maladaptive behaviors as they like to say okay. um, <laughs> yeah. yeah then it makes it really hard sometimes because uh, you're a higher risk kind of thing uh, I see. or they see you as higher risk and you're like no I'm literally just trying to do what I do right. <laughs> I'm just trying to live life right and I just need some some help man that's too bad like you would think that people who appear higher risk would be the people that you'd want to help because it's like well clearly they're being affected more yes but so they like, see it as like a, oh no i might get sued and i think new hampshire is starting to get better because it seems like they're trying to put more into that like arena of like healthcare, yeah. like mental health. It's like actually important. It's like right. yeah, surprise, surprise. Yeah, right. Who knew? <laughs> Unfortunately, in a sad way, but thankfully in another, such well-known names like um, Robin Williams and the yes. Lincoln Park Chester, and um, even uh, what's his name, the the food critic guy. I love him. Yes, uh, I can't think of his name. Anthony right now. Anthony Bourdain. There yes. You know. Unfortunately, like it's terrible that they were in such a place where they committed suicide. But and Chris Cornell too, by the way. Yeah. Oh my God, my favorite. Like, but without that, they probably wouldn't be as much exactly. care about figuring it out because it just shows like, like you can have everything and still not be happy. Exactly. <laughs> like, that's not how it works. Yeah. Because it's like you still have to have like the mental health aspect or that it, there are parts of genetics that are part of it. Like if you're born with more tendencies or yes. less tendencies and then the environment is also part of it. Yep. We're recording, okay. so now I didn't want to risk you seeing your reflection. Oh, oh that's a smart idea. Okay. And then, and then. Ooh. I love Way that. more than what it was before. Yes. And there's like, more. it's just fun and peachy. I like that a lot. Yeah? Yes, that's so fun. I love it. Yay. Yay. Hehehehe <laughs>